And she saw on the registration that I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and she asked me how I feel about LeBron James leaving Cleveland for $145 million. I said, it's Cleveland, I'd leave for $145. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this show tonight. Of course, I'm rounding up. <laughs> this is so cool to be here. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. I grew up on the east side in an awesome city called Cleveland Heights, Ohio. And um, I was very intellectually curious as a child, very curious about different religions, and in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, I had Jewish friends, Christian friends, I had Hindu friends, I had Muslim friends, I'd go to temple with my Jewish friends, and I'd go to, uh, um, to uh, the mosque with my Muslim friends, and their parents were like, here, put on this veil. You look cute, like uh, Jodie Foster from Candleshoe, but put this on. <laughs> and I went to uh, temple with my Jewish friends, and we celebrated uh, all the Jewish holidays, and they would come over to my house and celebrate the Christian holidays, because I grew up in the 70s, when raising your child in God's one true religion was nowhere near as important as getting them out of the house for a couple hours. <laughs> Mommy, what's the difference between Christmas and Hanukkah? I don't know, sweetheart. Why don't you spend the next eight nights at Ira's house and find out for yourself? <laughs> I was raised Catholic, although I don't go to church every Sunday. I do go to therapy every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> I think the reason why I have a hard time with Catholic Mass is I have ADD and I'm easily distracted. I never know what to do at church. Am I supposed to stand? Am I supposed to kneel? Am I supposed to nap? 